Low driving intelligence. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit more home intelligence for you. If you look over my right shoulder here, you'll see a stairway that uh, has been built for my house uh, some time ago, made out of stone. Um, the problem was there wasn't a railing there when um, I had the stone put in, uh, which made it unsafe. <laughs> so I uh, decided, especially upon the urging of my parents, to put a, a railing in. I contacted many contractors, went to the big box stores, couldn't find anybody that would put this thing together for me. <clears throat> so I was left to do this on my own. Um, went to some of the big box stores and some of the places and asked some advice. Uh, they gave me some advice. I had some misstarts that I didn't really feel was uh, satisfactory, especially considering safety was paramount. So I, I ended up uh, with a solution that I'm pretty proud of. Um, some pieces of it don't look quite as good as I'd like it to. I'm going to take care of that uh, with a little paint. A little paint always fixes something. Um, but I'm going to take you through what I did here. I just want to uh, clarify that this is my design. It's not a design that I say you can use safely. Um, I have installed this so that uh, I'm confident that it's not going to come down unless a rhino runs through that thing. Um, but otherwise, uh, anybody that, that uses this railing normally um, is going to have no problem with it as a, as a safe means of going up and down the stairs. Um, so follow along. I'd love to know if you have any comments on this or uh, other uh, uh, solutions, but this was my solution. Before I get into any details about the construction of this, I just wanted to talk about the structure itself. What I did with these fence posts that I bought at Lowe's, um, this is the thick post. They're actually longer than this. I split this directly in half and put some top caps on it but in terms of the structure the top rail I put on initially and I had longitudinal movement this way which was unsafe to me so I got another one of these smaller pipes this is a top rail for fence material and I connected it from the bottom of this post to the top of this post and basically what that did that triangular function with the bottom to top literally locked it down there's no movement up and down the steps the next problem was side to side, so uh, Abe's trying to show you the, the top section first. I did the strap, which I'll show you later, um, which holds it the mo movement this way, and then I did that. I had a little extra piece of this material that I turned into a 45 and expansion anchored that into the stone. This thing does not move. It is very sturdy. So now I'll get into the details of uh, how I put this in. The parts you'll need are rail end connectors, connector bolts that are in black, uh, eight foot fence posts, which I split into two four foot sections, fence post caps, fence post clamps to attach the rails, and a 10 and a half foot fence post top rail, which will have to be trimmed to proper length. You can see in this photo, photo where it's fluted down and I cut that section off. I also had some leftover that I used as the angle brace you'll see later in this video. To round out the materials needed, you'll need to buy some heavy duty angle brackets uh, to secure the posts to the, uh, to the railing and to the concrete or your block. Uh, you'll need an assortment of bolts to through bolt through your uh, your posts, and you'll need these expansion anchors. Um, I bought a four pack at Lowe's because I only needed three. It comes with a drill bit, and to make sure that you make this job as easy as possible, you're going to need an impact drill driver, one that plugs into the wall, not battery powered. At least my battery powered wasn't sufficient, so I had to buy a wall powered electric uh, drill driver and uh, that made short work of getting into that stone, putting the expansion anchor in, and never having to worry about those things coming out. I've cut this piece of fence tubing at a roughly 45 degree angle. I'll have to clean that up a bit. Um, and then of course I'll repaint it. <clears throat> but this gives me the angle that I want against the, the, uh, the larger fence post to brace it in the other direction. I bent a uh, 90 degree angle bracket to about 45 degrees and then I put it in here at about the right location and I've marked I've marked within this pipe so I can do a, a pilot hole to drill a hole so I can bolt this together. 
and then I'll measure it and also drill the second one, which you can't see yet. Finished uh, the angle bracket. I've actually painted it, screwed it in, got some good bolts in there. I know it's a little ugly on that side, but you won't see it, so I don't necessarily care. Um, and I just got finished painting it to make sure that it matches and looks good. So uh, the only thing left to do now is to mount it on the, uh, on the railing. In order to fully secure this to the stone, I've already put some anchors in here. You can see heavy duty anchors here and there, expansion anchors. I'm gonna use the same anchor to put, a, to put an angular support on this rock. as so. That will prevent the side motion that I'm getting here. In the other direction, that's that bottom rail has locked this thing in. How's this for sturdy? Almost done with the railing. Um, the bottom, as you can see at the base here, I did put that angular piece as I've shown, I've shown already. Uh, this piece here with the cinch anchoring or the expansion anchors is not as, uh, as steady as that now. So what I'm gonna do is strap this to the wood. I don't like drilling into these wood that's part of this overall structure of the deck. It'd probably be okay, but if I can get away with not doing it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I bought some strapping material from Lowe's and what I'm going to do is bend this properly around this with some overhang so that uh, I can strap it to the uh, to the main pole right down here. Just to show you how I'm bending this strap I've actually measured one side at a time on the, the column and then I'll mark on there the bend point and I use the vise and the hammer to make these nice edges. It's turning out pretty good. Strap is made. Came out perfectly. I don't have to drill into this. What we're looking for is lateral load, not up and down. So I'm trying to stop this movement. Now all I have to do is trim this to size with this one with my sawzall. And then I'll bolt it here and then bolt this to a clamp that's gonna go here. Uh, but before I install it, I'm going to paint it nice and black to match the rest of the tubing. My straps have all been measured, uh, cut, and I've also put holes in where I'll be putting the, um, the bolts through to hold it steady. Um, I've also sanded it down, and I'm going to degrease it with some uh, brake cleaner. I don't endorse this brand. You can use any brand you like. Um, but I'll degrease it, let it dry, and then I'll put uh, black, gloss black Rust-Oleum. Strap is done. Painted it, bolted it. You will notice I did put some small screws in to stabilize that, uh, that bracket I formed myself. Um, but this thing will not move from side to side. It is completely locked in, so it is very safe. That's the thing I was worried about. I still need to paint these angle brackets at the bottom. Now that I've done this once, I'll know better how to do it next time with these expansion anchors so it will look better. But once I paint that black, I think it will all blend in. But I think overall, it's a pretty good look. Let me know, let me know what you think in the comments. Final step was to secure the end caps to the top and mid rails using self-tapping screws. That makes sure that the structure is uh, sound longitudinally, as I had mentioned previously. As a final note to everybody, um, please recognize that this is my design. I am not a designer of these railings, so use my design at your own discretion, but it's up to you to make sure that it's secure and safe. Um, I'm not endorsing this for your use because I have not seen it, uh, but I hope it does provide you some guidelines for assisting you with a railing in case you ran into the same trouble as me, finding a contractor that will come out and install this for you.
Abe and I would like you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and provide comments below. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.